On July 17, 1955, Walt Disney opened up an amusement park. No, a theme park, the first of its kind. It would be called Disneyland. The opening day was kind of crazy. It was way too many people. It was sort of a big mess. But it has grown to be one of the most known, successful things, and it's called the happiest place on Earth. They have food there, obviously. And today, we're eating everything at Disneyland. It's Eat the Venue. We're back, baby. As always, Eat the Menu is brought to you by Keith's Not Too Hot Sauces. Get yourself some. I'm sure we're cutting the B-roll of it. That's probably pretty sick. Let's get in there, eat some food. Of course, we'll ride some rides, and maybe we'll even meet the big mouse himself. Let's go. Well, we're here during the holiday time, so it's all decked out. Everything's extra holiday-y. You know, obviously this is Main Street. It's designed after Walt Disney's Kansas City, or Kansas. I don't remember if it's Kansas City or just Kansas. Main Street, it's iconic. Let's turn the corner, we'll see the big old castle. Wow. There it is, Desiree. So this castle is 70 feet tall, whereas the one in Disney World is like 280 feet tall. Kaylin did tell me, she goes, you're gonna be really <laughs> underwhelmed with the castle. It's not as good as the it's, Disney World it's one. It's not, but this is the it's original. It's like crazy small. Well, I guess we, we just passed food, so. Let's go. Let's go. What is the most popular or your favorite thing in there? The strawberry hand pie. Oh, okay, let's do that. The strawberry hand pie from Candy Palace. First bite. Looks like a pop tart. It's a pop tart. Mmm, cold. It's thicker than a pop tart. It's sweet. It's good. I wish it was toasted like a pop tart. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. You don't it have to like strawberry? it. Oh. You just have to taste it. Okay, I'm, That's the I'm rules tasting the, the corner. Mmm. Ah, mm. It's thick. It's really, really sweet. Yeah, Lots it's like a, a nicer pop tart. Mm. Yeah. I would like to eat it without the strawberry filling. Really? I think That's the strawberry right. the strawberry <laughs> filling tastes kind of like the strawberry filling on a uh, summer strawberry cake. You know, like the 4th of July cakes that have the big candy strawberries on them? Yeah. It's that vibe. Yeah. It's good. Amazing. Yeah. Delicious. Let's go. Next. Desiree's never been to Disney before. How do you feel? What are you excited I'm about? I'm really, I don't know. I'm just excited about everything. I've only been to Disney World in third grade, so I have no idea what to expect at Disneyland as an adult. What vague memory do you have of Disney World? Um, I remember having a, an invisible dog that I walked the <laughs> entire time. Oh, oh yeah, that big. is a thing they sell. Yeah. Um, and I remember packing it in my suitcase and bending it. When I got home, I couldn't use it properly because Ugh didn't walk the same uh, anymore. Tough. There's popcorn right there. I know. Let's go to popcorn. 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 Look at that little guy. The popcorn. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Hello. Howdy. That's Woody. It's really the shark pretending to be Woody. It's good, it's fine. It's not bad. I'm gonna use a tiny bit more salt. I like it butterier. Yeah, it needs a little more butter. But it's not bad. It's Totally fine. The churro from Tomorrowland. Oh, so cinnamony. These are my favorite churros in the whole world. You've been to Mexico? No. Okay, well, <laughs> no, not Mexico, but they're they're very good. They're way better than all the other theme park churros I've ever had. Really? Mm -hmm. That detail. Get in there. Get in there. Look at the amount of sugar that fell off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is great. Let's keep going. And look at Mickey! Can you open it? I, my hands, I don't have enough hands. Why well, didn't, how did we never evolve a third hand? Right? How many times you're like, I need another hand? Many. And it, what is, you know, what is evolution if we can't have another hand? The Mickey Mouse pretzel with cheese. The cheddar, it has like more cheddar flavor than a cheddar cheese flavored thing should. It doesn't taste like cheddar, but it, more cheddar flavored. It's a fine pretzel, a little tough. I wouldn't recommend it. Let's get the dairy pills up. <laughs> oh yeah, I have lactate if you need them. <laughs> okay, the jalapeno cream cheese filled pretzel. I also have water and stuff. I'll probably Sorry, do that. I got you mid bite. <laughs> I was afraid it was gonna have too much filling. It honestly doesn't have enough. I kind of love what's going on in there. Got to get in the middle. Oh, in the in the middle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a lot more goo in there. It's good goo. It's great. And it's just jalapeno flavor, no spice at all. Really delicious. Wow. Like, look at me, buddy. Just sit up like this. <laughs> that was kind of gross, actually. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really? is that the food product shot you really wanted to show? <laughs> the Galactic Funnel Cake Fries from the Galactic Grill. They feel like fries. That sauce is it's interesting. It's a very thin frosting. Hmm. What's it taste like? Breakfast. 
Tell me about it. This tastes like breakfast. Well, I know there's maple syrup in the. I, in I was like, I was about to say, like, there's a maple note. It They're does good. taste like maple They're syrup. Good. There's a lot of oil. It is caked, baby. I have a fun chew. Yeah, it's giving French toast, but tiny. Yes. Oh, like those, you know, those like microwave the French toast strips. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. That's what these are kind of like, but a little crunchier. Yeah. Why'd you look at me like that if you knew what I'm talking about? Well, because you sort of like well, stopped, <laughs> and then I was thinking like you really want to tell people about all your microwave favorites. <laughs> Shade. <laughs> Let's move on. Well, Get he needs to me. stop eating. Hello. I mean, whoop. 1025. What time is it now? Who is it's Space Mountain? That, I could what's her name? That's one of those. It's one of those sisters. It sucks. No, no, that's Wendy. That's Wendy. It looks like one of those. What? Who are you calling a bitch at Disney? The, the sisters, the Cinderella sisters. Oh, the, doesn't she, she kind of look like one no, of them? No, she's not ugly. She looks like a sweet little Wendy. That look like was Wendy insane. To me. <laughs> okay, we're here at Cafe Daisy. We're gonna get either a hot dog or a flop over. It's flop Daisy's over dress up hot dog. It's dressed up hot dog, of course. We love Daisy. Daisy's kind of. I don't think yeah, she can is. Say, you can't say on YouTube, but it is true. What? You can't yell at me for calling someone a and then say this. No, is a good thing now. Oh. Well. <laughs> well then. <laughs> His face. <laughs> Daisy's goody goody donuts. Ooh. They're Just by his face, Kaylin was like, mine. They're little pillows. That is the closest thing to eating a pillow. Okay, my turn for a pillow. They're not a pillow? Oh, these are soft. They're pillows. You're supposed to go all in one. Whoa. <laughs> these are like. Fresh Entenmann's donuts. You know those little mini donuts you buy in the bags? Oh, the yeah, grocery yeah, store? yeah, These are like the perfect oh, version yeah. of what that yeah. is. They're good. Okay, 9.30 and I'm having the Coca-Cola. Go ahead. The pinky. It's fine. I interrupt myself to let you know that this portion of today's video is brought to you by Cook Unity. How entertaining is it to feel like you're eating in a different restaurant every night? Now that's possible with today's sponsor, Cook Unity. Cook Unity is the first chef to you meal delivery service made up of over 70 chefs who believe that great food should be for everyone. Each week, award-winning chefs craft hundreds of globally inspired meals from vegetarian to paleo and everything in between. Each menu blends traditional and modern Korean recipes with a wide variety of Asian influences. This is the barbecue chicken burrito bowl with corn black bean salsa and pepper jack cheese by Chef Ruben Garcia. It's great. It's like a little bit sweet, a little bit spicy, very savory. It tastes really good, honestly. It's definitely got a little bit of heat on the back end, which is really nice. We'll miss it. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, adobo braised short ribs with rainbow carrots and asparagus. It looks amazing. <laughs> Let's try it. The asparagus is great. The sauce is really flavorful. I need a short rib. We'll try it off. Let's try the next one. I'm having a great time. This is Chef Cami Sepulveda's shakshuka with tofu scrambled eggs and toasted naan. Shakshuka is popular in North Africa and the Middle East. It's a tomato sauce dish with poached eggs in it and crusty bread. It's really, really simple, but it's really, really delicious. It's very popular at brunch places in LA. Very good. It was warm, comforting. Very flavorful. The subscription is really flexible. You can pause, skip weeks, or cancel at any time. Go to cookunity.com slash tryguys50. Use code tryguys50 to get 50% off your first order. I think it's delicious. I recommend it. It's hard to have convenience that doesn't sacrifice quality. This really nailed it. I eat a lot of stuff. This is really good. I recommend it. Thanks to Cook Unity for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Now back to me. The Boys and Apple fr Freeze. I almost said freeze. The Boys and Apple Freeze from Maurice's Treats. You're gonna drink this? Hell yeah, I'm gonna oh drink that. Oh my god. I don't know how they got that much sugar in it. That is sweeter than a packet of sugar. I got two of those last time I was here. That hurts my esophagus. Okay. They're like the try. granules of sugar are scraping against my throat. I mean, I taste the other flavors, but sugar is the dominant flavor. Oh, I really like the apple fl flavor in it. You can taste that? I can mm. barely taste the apple. Mm. Mm. And I guess I taste berry, but man, do I just taste That's granulated. That's really sugar. good. To me, it's just frozen apple juice, and it's yeah. delicious. That's insane. Cheese and garlic pretzel bread from Maurice's Treats. Uh. <laughs> Yum. Wow. Wow. That's legitimately incredible. That is like, wow. I told you. It's salty, it's garlicky. The cheese flavor, it's really good. It doesn't taste like a cheese flavor. It's just like really good cheese. I don't know what kind of cheese it is. Probably mozzarella. Maybe mm. a blend. Mmm. Over the marinara, it's straight up pretzel cheese sticks, baby. Mmm. 
Best of both worlds, Hannah Montana. Wow, the seasoning on it is really great. The garlic is so good. The chew mm. is amazing. It's so delicious. That is really good. <laughs> that is the best thing I've had so far. Like, amazing. by a lot. What's Maurice from? Belle's good father, morning, Belle. Beauty and the Beast. Good morning, Belle. There goes that girl that we all just made fun of. Why are we such a mean town? She's a girl who can read. <laughs> I thought we weren't swearing in this video. <laughs> we, won't, we won't use all that. Want to go on the teacups now? It won't make you happy. I'm nauseous just thinking about it. A very merry birthday. I see that purple one still open. Come on, Keith. Go, go Keith. Go. Come on, Keith. No. <laughs> no. What about the other purple one? <laughs> oh, my God. My girls want the purple cup. <laughs> they get the purple cup. My Why legs will never really fit in this. I feel like Kim Kardashian right now because there was a video of her and her kids like in this thing. Except when Kim Kardashian was on here, there was nobody else in any of the other ones. I believe that. Oh, wait, wait. Yes! <laughs> oh boy. Ah! Oh boy. <laughs> We're burning! Trying just... to be a ballerina, I'm trying to spot. Focus. Spotting. I'm just focusing on the camera now. That's not good. It's not? No. It's not Focus good. Focus on a far away You're thing. Spotting wrong. Something far away. Look up, it's easier. Okay. I'm holding on to it. What a perfect ending. The teacups, um, they weren't delicious. I recommend tea from somewhere else. <laughs> Let's keep going. Good. The Ronto's breakfast wrap from Ronto's Roasters. It's a sausage egg and like a sauce and cheese on a pita. It's not a wrap. That's a hot dog. It's supposed to be a sausage. I mean, I can tell it's got something else in it, but man, does it taste like a hot dog. It's a good, it's like a breakfast hot dog. I'm into it. Okay. The egg doesn't look great, but honestly, the flavor is delicious. I'm into it. I would eat it. It's got this like really nice white sauce. It almost tastes like the sauce that's at um, Halal Guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It almost tastes like that. Okay. Slay Star Wars. Now it's time to go to the Star Wars. Star Wars Star Cantina. Drunk. Oh, guys. There's something you've ever seen. Uh, let's go. What's the most beautiful drink? Uh, the outer ring. Okay, we'll do that. And then what is the most visual food that you have as well? The wild bounty. Great. Pretty visual. There's flowers in there. Love yeah. it. Perfect. Oh, wow. Wow. The outer rim here. Fuzzy Tauntaun. The Fuzzy Tauntaun. This one we recommend not to sniff or eat the Tauntaun. Okay. All right. The Fuzzy Tauntaun from Olga's Cantina. <laughs> Oh yeah, my mouth is not. I feel like a dog when it's eating peanut butter. I'm like, nom, nom, nom. It's good. The warning of don't sniff or inhale the foam and then making it impossible to get your mouth to it without putting your nose in it is kind of funny. It's good. It's kind of margarita-y, but a little sweeter. I don't I have no idea what's in it. I didn't look at any of the ingredients, but it's pineapple-y, citrusy, nice, sweet, good. What is the foam that makes it numb? It must be a Szechuan flower bud. But this is the outer rim. 10 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> Ooh. That That'll black do. salt is salty. Woo! It's got like a Dole Whip. No, it's like a mango, maybe? Woo! It's good. Oh, look oh, at yeah. that. Hold on, look at that. Wow, that bread is steamy. I love the bread. It smells really good. Oh, it's burning hot. Yeah, it, you can see the- Don't touch it. The warm focaccia. It's a little tough for focaccia. Let's try it with the pastrami. Oh, it's beautiful. The pastrami. Batu Wild's Bounty from Ogos Cantina. Mm. Hey, the bread is too tough. That's my easy understanding is the bread is way too tough. The flavor is good. It's a little sweeter than you expect. Like the, it's a cornerstone pickle, like a sweet pickle. Not amazing. Definitely looks amazing. Tastes fine. It's very light hummus. The bread is like, the flavor is good, but it's way too tough, way too chewy. It took me like a full minute to chew a bite. Oh, that's not fun. You don't want to be chewing for that long. I was chewing for forever. Really sweet and salty things are making me salivate like crazy. Like I have a cartoon I did, amount of I saliva. I did see your spit. I yeah. have a cartoon yeah. amount of saliva right now. I don't know what to do I wasn't going to say anything. I was. <laughs> I feel like um, Odie from Garfield. Do you see <laughs> it? Well, I'm not even, I'm, I'm doing nothing. It's just from the amount of salt and sugar in these drinks. Kaylin didn't like this one because it's tequila. I think this one's good. This is great. I also, I like margaritas. 
This is more of a margarita. Keith can do it. Keith said, Delicious. oh, I can't drink. Yum. Oh, I couldn't possibly. I couldn't possibly drink. Well, I was going to drink three. I'll drink one. Milks. We got the blue milk and the green milk. We're in Star Wars land. I don't remember what that stand was called, but you get it. It's the blue milk. It's like Smarties. It's like Smarties. It has a bit of a very almost slushy vibe, but f finer ice than a slush. The stand is called Milk Stand. The stand is called Milk Stand. I, you probably heard that too. The green milk. It's like potpourri. You didn't say it was floral. It is. Ugh. I'm scared. That one is not good. This one is fine. We better get out of here. It's kind of thick. That one made me like this one. <laughs> yeah. I didn't like this until I had that. I'm like, oh, no, this is actually pretty good. Can I try the blue one, actually? Yeah, it's much better. It's pretty muted flavor wise. Mm, way better. Compared to this, this ain't awful. Yeah, that's bad. Okay, well, let's go to the Rise of Resistance. Let's do it. Uh, I guess going out into the right is the fastest. Okay. <laughs> Just incredible. I mean, fucking. Unbelievable. Oh my god! <laughs> It has begun to rain. It really doesn't rain often, so what a fun twist. The Dole Whip from the Tiki Room place where they sell the Dole Whip. This is the only place, quote unquote, only place you can get it. You can get other places, but they say it's not the real thing. It truly is magical. It has a crazy tartness of the pineapple, but it's creamy. It makes you go, Oh, it's refreshing, especially when you're in the summer. This really slaps. In the rain, it doesn't really do the same thing. It's probably why there was no line. Probably why no one was in line. I was like, okay, then you're gonna need to go without us to get in line. You're gonna take forever, and she's back, and we haven't gotten any closer. Tropical Hideaway, pork bow. It smells like nothing. Ooh, now it's really raining. Oh, it's steamy. Wow. Is that burning your mouth? No. Oh. It feels good. It's saucy. It's delicious. It's sweet for sure. I actually really like it. I don't always love pork bao. This is not as traditional like Chinese barbecue as they normally are, which I kind of like. I don't always love the Chinese pork as much as other porks. You like that? I do. I'm hungry. Yeah. It's really starting to rain now, so we'll see how the video goes. The bacon asparagus. Tastes like bacon. Tastes like asparagus. Am I having a dribs at a fancy party? Ooh, you like the bao? Mm -hmm. It's good. This is great. I also love any kind of grilled vegetable. Oh, I should have hit it with the lemon. Now we gotta do another bite. Even better. Mm. I'm having one of those. Mm -hmm. Have one. The bacon though is giving me the kind that you microwave. Oh, it's absolutely 7-Eleven bacon. But it kind of works because it was still grilled. But yeah. it's really thin, like paper thin like tissue paper. The beef skewer. We have napkins if you need it. Mmm, it's giving Chinese food court. <laughs> but a huge wad of beef. Way too much, way too big a bite. It's weirdly quiet It's here, so right? quiet right now. <laughs> Everybody wants to hear Keith's review. Well, <laughs> you know. If I swallow this right now, I would choke to death. Okay, can you grab his water out of my... Okay, flavor was good. Flavor's great. It should be cut into smaller chunks so it's easier to just gobble up because that big old wad of beef absolutely probably kills at least one person a year. See? That should be half that size. It's a huge wad of beef. Look at that. Mm, that's good. Desiree's tearing through it. <laughs> at least you can tear through it. You can. It's it. It's not too bad. Okay, what's this one? This that's one's... gotta be the spicy one. I feel like I saw something Ooh. red on there. Yeah, it smells heat. Thank God heat. it's not mine. That's the one they recommended to us. That's the one. I want to try. There's just like no, but it's one. spicy. Uh-huh. That's a little bit of heat. It's like a two to three, which for me is like a five. But I recognize what it probably is the most. It's good. It's great flavor. It tastes more steaky. That tastes more beefy, if that makes sense. It's a little chewy for me. It still is. It's still quite chewy. I like it, though. Yeah, there's nothing like chewing through a big hunk of beef. 
Do they sell bread or something? They rice. have like a, a rice bowl. It would be good to have like a pita for Ooh. this. And that would really fill you up. And add a little buttery pita. Tigers Maybe you don't have eat some, pita. It's true. <laughs> but a little raw onion on that, kind of treat it like a gyro, like a Asian gyro would be really delicious. Pita or gale? Gale. Hunger Games. Are you for real? It was Gale. I mean, correct answer. Yeah. So how was the food? It was great. It was really <laughs> delicious. Let's move on to the next thing. Wow. Hello. Get on up there. Hello. Get a picture, doing? Key. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I know, I'm eating a lot of food today. <laughs> I really am. Yay. Yay. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Thank you, Thanks, Geppetto. Geppetto. Don't bring any puppets to life now. <laughs> <laughs> the pickle from the little red wagon. Wow, it was a crunch. Uh -huh. Excellent pickle. Way better than those bag pickles. My goodness. Mmm. Yum. Wow. It's zippy. Now, they used to have this like dill ranch, like dill pickle ranch sauce. It was unbelievable. They ran out of it or they don't make it. It was unclear to me. We got this big honking corn dog. That this, looks like a turkey leg. It's huge. This is always my first stop when I come to Disney. The corn dog in the little red wagon. Mmm, look at the breading amount compared to the wiener in there. It is delicious, but it's kind of crazy how much corn you're getting on this dog. I mean, it is too thick though. I you can say, see I that, feel like that it's ratio. a little undercooked right there because it's too much. Let's get the cheese sauce. I this is, plastic. It's good, right? Oh, you wait, Pat. It's like the pickle patch sauce. Well, pickle poncho. <laughs> what is going on in here? It's I don't hot. Like it. The sauce is hot. Man, look at that. Whew. It smells like nacho cheese sauce and it shouldn't be on a hot dog. Yeah. It's exactly that. It does not go on a hot dog. Very good though. I would eat that whole thing. I really like the pickle. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> I did take your bite off. Oh, okay. But... I mean, it's delicious, but I already knew that. I have it all the time. This is the mac and cheese dog. Nowhere does it mention there's bacon, but it definitely has bacon. The mac and cheese hot dog. Oh, yummy. It tastes like um, something a high person would do. You know, two in the morning, someone walks in and says, I got hot dogs. Another person walks in and I got mac and cheese. What if? Yeah, that's great. Oh, it's mac and cheese. It's mac and yeah. cheese on the hot dog. I thought it was just cheese. I no, didn't even notice it's the It's macaroni. Mac. I'm still salivating everywhere like a dog. This is delicious. Yeah, I mean, it's a mess. It's sort of crazy, but it's not bad. This is the Jolly Holiday Combo. It is a grilled cheese. This is actually Desiree's lunch. So I'm just gonna tear a corner out of it <laughs> and I'll eat this tomato soup. I mean, what could be more classic, especially on a rainy day? Yeah. This is like the perfect lunch. Grilled cheese and tomato soup from the Jolly Holiday. It's actually good tomato soup. It's tomato bisque, I think. It's got some cream in it. It's tomato basil. Basil. Because he's a little dry but you're dunking it in that soup, so it's sopping it up. That's great, that's comforting. It makes me sleepy. I wish they had like a bed ride. I wanna climb into a bed, especially after the corn dog, the mac and cheese hot dog and that. This is quite the jolly holiday of a sandwich. It's the Thankmas sandwich, sort of roast dinner sandwich, the cranberry sauce, the turkey, the stuffing on a toasted bread. It smells like it's decent turkey. The Thanksmas sandwich. It's hotter than I expected it. Like I temperature. do see it steaming from here. Or holding in the heat. It's a little bland somehow. Like, the, the cranberry is almost the strongest flavor. The turkey itself is very dry and underwhelming. Okay, Got there's gravy. The gravy. There's gravy. Can you open that gravy for me? Can you open the gravy? <laughs> okay, now we have something to be thankful for. This thanks, miss. I think it made it better, but the gravy still tastes a little bit like flour. It's fine. I think the grilled cheese and tomatoes way better. Thank God, because that's what I have for lunch. Way better. <laughs> yeah, all three of us ordered that for lunch, so thank God. Now, Kaylin, you got us some treats? Oh, yes. Yeah, so this is the raspberry macaroon. Oh, shaped. my God. It has big old berries. Full raspberries. Yeah. Some sort of very unattractive goop. People are obsessed but with this. But the foot on this, that's quite the macaroon. anybody else would have problems eating it. It's, it's, it's still going. 
Is the wind blowing through my hair? Yes, definitely. <laughs> it's so sweet and raspberry and tart. It's really good. It almost tastes like candy, yeah, how you, sweet it is. You have raspberry almond Yeah, I tea. bet. It's so sweet, it's like candy. I don't think I've ever had a cookie that is sweeter than like a Jolly Rancher. This is like Jolly Rancher cherry. Better appreciated by a sweet tooth, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that <laughs> What is this? It's the Matterhorn Macaroon. It's a horn? Well, it's a Matterhorn, like the mountain over there. It's a horn. Macaron. This is a macaroon. So this is more of that cookie type, you know, that has like the coconut crumble typically. <laughs> Do you know what that's giving, Keith? We all know what it is. Okay. <laughs> I, think, I think Keith's thinking it's something else. Okay, well. What do you think I think it is? Butt plug. I think it's You're a butt plug. Like butt plug. I think it's a... <laughs> that's cozy. That's co cozy in the corner in a rocking chair food right there. Put a little blanket on your lap, sitting by the fire. Suddenly I'm old. I want to try, but I don't know if I'll like it because I don't like coconut. You know, I think this is the best chance coconut's going to get to impress you. No? Didn't work? The more I chew it, the worse it gets. Yeah, okay. Well, I thought it was quite good. I think the other one is more of a... This one's one better. Of, it's a one-of-a-kind experience, but I could eat more, I think, of the coconut one no. than that. No? I like coconut, but it's too much. I think it's gentle. Life. They're saying this is too much? That I thing tastes like a Jolly Rancher. It is so tart and sweet, it blows my mind that people eat it. Well, let's move on. All right, we got ourselves here with the Plaza Inn. We're gonna have the chicken. The crew's on break, so I'm having a little solo mini adventure, and of course, I managed to find what looks like pretty darn good fried chicken. The fried chicken from the Plaza Inn. I'm really having a hard time being small enough. Not the best. Um, decent flavor, a little dry, not a ton of breading to it, so a little bit like lacking where there could be more seasoning, I think. A little bland with the gravy, the fine. Okay, the dark meat's excellent. The white meat's a little bland. That seems to follow the norm. It's like pretty good grocery store fried chicken, I'd say. This is a three-piece fried chicken, but actually the wing is still attached to the breast, meaning it's a four-piece fried chicken dinner. That's kind of incredible. That's a deal, and they're underselling themselves. So different for what a theme park would maybe do. I immediately raise my review. The fact that you get a free piece of chicken that they don't even mention makes it totally worth the price. All right, let's actually try the mashed potatoes and the gravy. There they are. Okay, they're instant. Not the worst, but obviously not what I want. The biscuit. Very bland, very dry. I guess it's good for the carbs. You need the energy. You're taking a lot of steps today. Green beans do not look good. Well, let's try them. The green beans. Not as bad as they look, but not as good as you want. Next stop, wherever we are. Okay, we're here in Tomorrowland again. It's strange to go to tomorrow twice, but I guess we go to tomorrow all the time. We have the pizza, the clausagna, and the macaron. Macaron. I want you to see the picture of the clausagna. That's what I was expecting. Look at this. It's slipping. I see it. At least it's moving together. That's sort of how the they move in the in the show in the movie, right? The, yeah. the aliens they move together. Can't imagine it's going to be good. It just sort of looks like overcooked noodles with a couple sauces. The clausagna from. Alien Pizza Planet. Yes. Better than I expected. The look is way worse than the taste. The taste is good, but it's like high school lasagna. It's giving prego sauce. Yeah. Oh yeah. It kind of tastes like high school pasta dish. I do like that it has little meats in the sauce. Mm -hmm. It's got little meats. You know what I'm saying? Meats. We got the meat. Mega pepperoni slice. The mega pepperoni slice. That's DiGiorno. <gasps> Again? I wonder if there's like a certain yeast or flour or or sauce blend that DiGiorno uses. Because it tastes like it's in that a little bit of cornmeal. It's, it's definitely the dough. It's, it's not terrible. I mean, it's, it's really not good. I'm going to be honest. My DiGiorno I make at home is better. Yeah, I yeah. I think it's like flagpole was better. Which is alarming. <laughs> Uh, alarming. We didn't think that would be good, but this is hecking adorable. I mean, look at this. Look at that. Smell it. Oh, he lost his butt. Oh no. He lost his butt away. and I cracked his mouth. <laughs> oh no, good thing I took a picture. He's fragile. The alien macaron. 
Ooh. Is the eye edible? It like looks fake from here. It must be. It must be edible. I don't know, guys. I'll eat it. This is like candy. It's okay. good. What's it taste like? What's the flavor? Is pudding. it chocolate? Oh, pudding. Chocolate pudding. Okay. <laughs> pudding. It's for babies. <laughs> it's chocolate pudding. Oh, I do like the pudding. That's nice. It's... I don't really like chocolate pudding, so I'm nervous. I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> well, then that affirms that it is, in fact, chocolate pudding. I think the raspberry one's better. I like this one more. The raspberry one is definitely a bolder flavor that I've never had in a cookie before. This is like simple. I think it's good for kids. Good pudding. Let's go vomit. <laughs> We're on the face, face mountain. It's all pitch black. It's pitch black the entire time. Oh, pretty much. It's space. I don't like space. <laughs> <laughs> no hands, I'm scared. It's really dark. <laughs> <laughs> my mascara is stinging my eyes so bad. <laughs> I lost my Disneyland map. Oh, God. Oh. Good thing you're okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm the chimichanga. Oh, this is so exciting. This thing is like a forearm. Or like a, a femur. I love chimichangas. It's kind of my favorite Mexican food. I also think they're amazing. It almost feels like it was baked. Doesn't like have that oily exterior that, it, that they normally have. I'll take the other half. The chimichanga. It needs more cheese. It needs more cheese. It needs more meat. Or like a sauce. What meat is in it? I don't know. It tastes like beans. It, you know what? It's good Taco Bell. Uh -huh. It's like when Taco Bell really hits, uh -huh. this is that. <laughs> but, I don't yeah, like the bean. The texture is just. It's beans. I Make love no beans. mistake, it's beans. Look at <gasps> oh that. Oh my god. Wow. Monster. It is steaming. The turkey leg. I don't even know where to begin. It is, I can see the juice, like the oil, like on your lip. This one's very salty, but honestly, it's probably the best turkey leg I've ever had. Wow. Most of the time I think they're dry and not good and they look great, but they aren't great. But this one, tender, juicy, very salty. <laughs> but that's a flavor, so you could say flavorful. It's got a very smoky, salty flavor. So I feel like the lime might give it something Right. It's good. This is quite good, actually. I'm sort of shocked that it's that good. Wow. Like, normally they're super disappointing, and that was great. Now I got a bag of corn. Oh, wow. Okay, I don't love that, that my corn looks that gross. The corn on the cob. It's good corn. It's hot. Is there butter on it, or is it just? I don't think so. I think it's just good sweet corn. Which, I don't know how they got this time of year. It's the magic of Disney. Mm-hmm. Pretty good. But we did get a little fresh something. We got ourselves some mango slices with some lime and tahini in honor of Zach and Maggie, who love this snack so much. The mango slices with tahini and lime. <laughs> Live show for her. Mango's a little underripe. In fact, very underripe. So like, kind of have oh, no flavor. She's hard. And they're tough. But I appreciate the effort. Now, the trio of street tacos. The amount of tomatillo sauce on this is kind of insane. Yeah. This is a huge mistake. I hope How are you going to pick that up? I don't, I don't even know. Like, it's probably spicy. The steak taco. Where is this from? Beef. Beef? The beef taco? It just says beef. Oh, uh, it's beef, huh? Did you say where it's from and then she said <laughs> beef? I asked her where it's from. She said beef. <laughs> I don't know. Like... The beef is fine. Kind of underflavored, as the other things have been. Sorry, I'm just realizing how stupid I was when you said that. You weren't stupid. You just weren't listening. <laughs> the chicken. <laughs> so much tomatillo sauce, and it's it's tart and spicy. I can taste nothing. Oh. And you don't have any water left uh -uh. either. No, that's like a napkin, though. Okay. This tomatillo is like so intense. There's no way I can do that. Let's do that. <laughs> you just took off all the toppings. I just need a bite. The cauliflower. Uh oh. Sad. It's like a water taco. <laughs> the beef is the most palatable. Although maybe the chicken was good, but my mouth is just on fire from tomatillo and no flavor other than that. But let's have the rice. The Mexican rice. Very, very bland. Wow. Nothing. Nothing. And the baked beans with a little bit of cotija. 
They're refried beans. They're pretty good. Chimichanga beans are better than these beans. But honestly, I'm most impressed from this little meal by this big honkin' turkey leg that actually tastes good. I mean, oh, there's a little bird right there. You see it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw one of those birds get run over by a car once. Oh, boy. Hey, Lynn. Well, Kaylin saw a bird die, and now it's time to go to the next restaurant. <laughs> oh, you better watch out. Better not cry. Oh, I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> okay. The espresso chip sundae from the Golden Horseshoe Place. Okay, we got some ice cream here, we got some stuff, and we got a cookie. The ice cream itself is great. Chewy, you know, espresso-y. The cookies, the little brown butter cookies are nice. There's a little piece of cookie stuck in my throat. I'm pretending it's not there. In your throat? Mm -hmm. Like you're this choking? is also... No, it's just like... In a spot. This is also down there. You have been spitting all day. I don't know how to stop. <laughs> I make a lot of saliva. Okay, get in there. If it's really coffee like, I don't know if I'm I know, I don't it, like coffee. It's really coffee like. Okay, well then. Well, I'm gonna hate it. But the whipped cream isn't. Okay, perfect. It tastes like the type of coffee I like. Oh, like yeah, it tastes like, like a vanilla latte. Like a caramel frappuccino or something yeah. as an ice cream. All right, let's find what's, honestly, there's a place right behind Chris, so I guess we'll go there, whatever that is. Firework factory? Stage door, the stage door cafe. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. This is the Christmas wreath funnel cake. It's not a spooky person's voice, like muddled singing. in the background, singing. It's got apples, it's a, it's a beautiful wreath. I mean, it's absolutely gorgeous, and it's huge. This is our second funnel cake experience of the day. This is more proper funnel, but it's not a funnel, it's more of a big wreath, the holiday funnel cake. Nope. Uh oh. The apples like taste like green apple that wasn't cooked long enough. It's like really tart. I was with you Give until I found boy. out there were apples on it and that made me less excited to it's try It's candy-y. It. Get in there, you little goblins. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh God. Like you're, think like they're gobbling? What if you were my little goblins on these Eat the Venues? Oh, we are. We literally are. The goblins. The goblins. The, goblins. <laughs> the goblin twins. <laughs> they're always gobbling. Oh. Doesn't the apple like hit wrong? Yeah. The I apple, really wanted to like the apple. The apple hits. I love apple pie. And there's something about this apple that's too fake apple. It's sad because it's beautiful. Yeah. It wins the most beautiful award. But it's the beautiful girl who's mean. Beauty is found within. We'll get it out of your way. I'm so sorry. The clam chowder. We're at the New Orleans. Uh, Royal Street. Veranda. The Royal Street Verandas. Clam chowder in a bread bowl. He's going, no, Thought I was going to drink to my nose? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I am just so excited. It's salty. Yeah, it's good. Creamy, salty, got no clams in that bite. Not a clam to be found. There's maybe a clam strip. Clams are red or orange? It's hitting the spot. Especially, I mean, we're here on a rainy day. How unfortunate for us, but how great when you get to have soup. Can you imagine eating this in the middle of July? What a nightmare. But that is delicious. I feel cozy, like I'm being hugged. It's honestly okay, pretty yeah, darn pass good. Her over. Pass it around. I'm Keith really the goblins. So excited. The goblins. The goblins. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Well, clams kind of look like cat food. Well, yeah. well, it's in my oh, mouth. I got a clam. Yeah, I got a clam. But there's a lot more here in New Orleans Square, so let's get Jiggy with grooving. it. Grooving? Yeah, maybe jiggy with it. I was trying to think of like, what's a, you groove Get jiggy with it. Lot. Okay, let's get jiggy with it. Calm down. <laughs> the Mickey beignets from the Mint Julep Bar. Okay, really gotta be careful not to inhale powdered sugar. It's surprisingly not very sweet. It's perfect. Well, it kind of needs to be sweeter. But, what if we try it with the chocolate sauce? Oh, I just got chocolate all over this bag. Inside the bag? No, or? just like oh. the way I grip this. Oh no. Uh oh. I'm an idiot. No, no. Well. <laughs> Rude. I kid. Oh, I hate the chocolate. Oh, okay. Well, I hate it. It looks like fake chocolate. I thought it was nasty. I, I guess thought I it try was it. nasty. Oh, yeah, it's God. nasty, right? Okay, I just did a little. It's nasty. <laughs> Chocolate's nasty. Oh. It's nasty. I don't say nasty a lot. Well, you said it like 10 she times in the past five seconds. This one, she nasty. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah. That kid doesn't like it either. That chocolate is nasty. 
bad. It was really bad. It was bad. Okay, there's some other New Orleans treats we gotta get. But a lot of these are restaurants. Blue Bayou turned us away. They said, you don't take walk-ups right now, but you can check back as many times a day as you'd like. So I checked back right in that moment. <laughs> they liked the joke, but didn't have any room. It's been um, not exactly the day we expected. The rain has really dampened our ability to vlog in between things, so we're really jumping from place to place. It doesn't look fun. <laughs> it's so sad. But once again, I'm having a good time. Yeah. You know, most people seem like they're in a pretty decent mood, yeah. all things considered. Like normally, imagine you were anywhere else and it was raining like this and you were trapped outside the whole day. You'd probably be pretty miserable, but here somehow it's okay. Happiest place on earth. Exactly. All right, we got a couple things from the Harbor Gallery while we're waiting for our stuff from Cafe New Orleans. This is the vegetarian stew. It's farro, mushrooms, carrots, some other vegetables, it looks like. Basically a beef stew with vegetables. Let's try it. Oh my God, there's way more flavor than I was expecting. It's very savory. Again, very salty. There's some other seasoning that's really strong that I can't quite put my finger on. I think it's a great vegetarian stew option. It's really, really flavorful. Most of that flavor is salt. I don't think I like it. It's not great, but I think it's a decent vegetarian option. Vegetarians, I do think, get the short end of a stick, especially at a theme park. And I think this is acceptable. I wouldn't say it's delicious, but it gets a passing grade. It's like a C plus, maybe a B minus. The lobster roll. I've never seen a lobster roll that looks like lobster salad. It could still be good. However, it was ready for us immediately upon ordering. But a lobster, normally it's it's been cooked. It's been salad saladified. 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 It's been a long day. <laughs> saladified. The lobster roll. How is it? <laughs> Truly bizarre. Why? <laughs> Doesn't taste like lobster. What does it taste like? I don't know. Wait, I'm gonna try one of these. Yeah, pieces. I'm trying to taste just this and. It has the texture of lobster, but what is that? What is that? Can I try? Yeah. I don't you know please. if I want the bread. I please, just kind of want. Please, Detective Kalen, step in. <laughs> I have no oh, idea. Look at that's that. A, oh, that's a big no. chunk. That no, looks that's like good. shrimp. That's, that's lucky. That's lucky. I mean, it is lobster. Look at this. That's a claw piece. See that? That's actually, I mean, That impressive. looks like a nice piece. Yeah. I wish I didn't eat that. I think this tastes like what seafood salad tastes like. I've never had seafood salad. It's making me feel sick. It's not making me feel sick, but I don't know what it tastes like, and that's concerning to me. I'm spitting it out in that napkin that someone's gonna handle. Here, wait, wait, wait. Spit it out in this piece of paper. Yeah. I normally have a pretty big rule on each menu that you can't spit it out unless you think it's actually gone bad, but if you think you'll vomit, then spit it out. Yeah, we're at Disney. It's we're Disney. a hard place to puke and It's rally. really raining hard. I, I don't really know like All of these it umbrellas and people. <laughs> Let's wash away those memories <laughs> with a little hurricane from Cafe New Orleans. I'm get my straw ready for this one. Woo! That's jazz music, baby. It's sweet, it's smooth, it's got liquor in it, but what it's got liquor? a lot of sugar, rum. Rum. And triple sec, I think it had. Maybe something else. Oh, that, that's dangerous. Yeah. You're sipping I that on a night it. out. She's gone and she's, she's drunk. Gone. My, my college town, Savannah, Georgia, shout out, was a place where you could walk around with drinks yeah. and it was big for I, us. I love Savannah. That's Beautiful good. Town. Oh, this is really good. Yeah. Oh, this is, I would just, I would sit this all up. So we got some gumbo, we got some hummus. These are the appetizers for the two different prefixed sort of items we got, the gumbo. Good flavor. There was something kind of crunchy in it, which I did not anticipate. I don't know if that was right or wrong. I think the flavor is really good. Has a lot of spices, heavy on the salt, but again, comforting, warm. It's like I'm rolling around in the rug of a cabin. Now look at how beautiful this hummus is. This is truly fancy looking. The little craisin, the cranberries, the hummus, the, the little flowers. Look at the little flowers, eat it. <laughs> Let's eat the flower. Give it to me. I want to have a little bit of everything on this. The flower. I want the flower. It's an edible flower. Okay. The beautiful hummus. It's a spinach artichoke hummus, I believe. <laughs> so beautiful. Agreed. That's great. Do you taste wow. the spinach artichoke part? Yeah, a little bit. It does taste like a 
spinach and artichoke dip, meats and hummus. But I'm so taken with the beauty of it that that's the most important thing to me, right? It's so gorgeous. So our Cafe New Orleans, we got our main courses here. We have the short rib, the jambalaya, pasta, and the three cheese Monte Cristo, which is a deep fried sandwich with powdered sugar on it. That's what a Monte Cristo is. Monte Cristo, not Crisco. But maybe it's fried in Crisco. I'm afraid that's still gonna be, ugh, are you still lava hot? Yeah. So let's start with this. It's gonna be less hot. I love short rib. I think short rib is one of my favorite things because of how like, and that's, look at that. Just Boom, right baby. Off. Just right apart. Came right apart, no problem. Looks great. Get some of this little gravy in here. The short rib. It's good. It could use a little more depth of flavor. It says it's a red wine short rib. I'm not really getting the depth of flavor that red wine sauce normally has, but it's good. And for, for a theme park, it's great. Look at these beautiful little onions on the side here. Just gorgeous. Does that help with your mm. depth of flavor? Yeah. You're just like are eating the onion plain. It's I love interesting. An onion. It's cooked. Mmm. Look at these thick ass carrots. It's so good. What did we do all three? Yeah. Mm, 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 I'm gonna mm, do a little of this. Oh, I got the whole parsley. Those carrots are perfect. <laughs> They're perfect. <laughs> wow. Mmm. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Ooh. Carrots. Okay. <laughs> Carrots. Okay. I've never had jambalaya on Hopper Deli, so I have no idea if that is traditional. The shrimp looks a little bl plain, which is a little concerning. The jambalaya. So it has a little bit of a kick, but really not a lot. Um, it definitely warms my mouth just for one bite. I can taste the seasoning. I wish I had a little more flavor for the amount of warmth in my mouth, but it's a little bland. But it's nice. I think it's good mom pasta, you know? Oh, I'm so excited. It's to a try deep this. fried cheese sandwich served with powdered sugar. And I, what is this? Barbecue sauce? This is like a jam. That's like a chipotle aioli, I oh, think. Oh, I love God. an aioli. Jeez. I've been waiting for this one. Oh. Oh, oh my God. That cheese bowl. Yeah. Wow. Oh, she's beautiful. It is gorgeous. She's going, she's going. She's going. Wow. Woo. That was something. I have a tear in my eye That after was thrilling. That. I mean, Literally. this looks like it's gonna kill me. <laughs> the Monte Cristo. And we got a three cheese one. There's a meat one, but no, we didn't do that. Okay, you gave me the look. Oh my gosh, wait. <laughs> wow. It, the brie with the powdered sugar is so good. It is so breakfast and lunch and dessert all at once. Oh my God. It's so heavy. The brie is delicious. It has just the right amount of funk to go with the sweetness and the fattiness of the rest of it with the powdered sugar and the oil. Mm. Oh, the jam. The jam. What flavor jam is it? I think it's like a raspberry. Uh-huh. Uh, this jam is my jam, okay? This jam is really good. It actually is exactly what this needs because the funk and the fat are very strong and the powdered sugar gives a little sweetness, but this dials up the sweetness. I'm gonna have a dairy pill right now. <laughs> I had one not too long ago. And this is what, your sixth? Let's fifth? see, if I have I cleared a whole sheet? <gasps> this is the sheet clear. Mm. This is the sixth of the day. Is your tummy okay? Um. Yeah. Mine's not. Okay, let's try these fries. They look delicious. They look like they have garlic. I don't care about anything. They're quite after fried. That the fries. Thank you. Yeah. That's really good. Oh Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. God, aioli is good. That is a good aioli. It's good. It's a little bit smoky. Mm. Yeah. It has that like mesquite yeah. cake flavor that a barbecue would have without being a barbecue. Okay, this just showed up. Look at this. It is a Nightmare Before Christmas Yule Law. I'm gonna spin the whole thing around to get that food. Look at the wood grain. It's got this beautiful like top. It's like a hollow little log, but then you realize it is the Christmas door in the little portal forest of Nightmare Before Christmas. We've got the Halloween colors outside. He's peeking out. There's so much art happening on this. I'm absolutely gobsmacked. This is so beyond 
what I would ever expect. Whoa, wow. whoa. Full of sprinkles. It's like a sprinkle bomb. So fun. The Yule log. It's a nice little cake. What's it taste like? Is it like vanilla-y, chocolate-y? It's kind of a vanilla cake. There's so many sprinkles that it kind of distracts from what's going on otherwise because it's just a bunch of crunchy sugar. I think this is chocolate. The orange stuff? I think, but I really don't know. This is like a cookie crumble. Yeah, it's like a, a very thin chocolate. Yeah. Like a the flavor is a little bit mild, but I don't even care. If it's so cute and beautiful, the fact that it tastes fine, it's not really about eating, it's about that wow factor of it showing up and your kid being so excited to have that scene as a dessert. That was probably the coolest. I mean, the hummus was beautiful. That was art. Let's try the creme brulee. Everybody loves creme brulee. It's fancy, it's fun, it's rich. We got some berries here. The creme brulee. Needs a little bit more sweetness on that top. The sugar layer is a little thin. The bottom is a little soggy. Could be the rain or the general humidity everywhere right now. But all in all, this is definitely the best place we've eaten all day. It's one of the only sit down places we've eaten, but it was so good. And this was darling. And well, we might hop on the train to get out of the rain, head to Main Street, get an ice cream, call it a day. Yeah. Okay, we were gonna wait for the train, but the line's too long and the train isn't there. And we don't even know if the train will be empty enough for us to get on the train. So we're gonna hoof it to Main Street, baby, as Walt would have dreamed. <laughs> Actually, Actually Walt, Walt loved trains. Walt loved on the train, yeah. <laughs> I say Walt loved trains, but you know. I hear the train. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, darn! <laughs> yeah, what does Mickey say when he's like, oh boy. Oh, boy. oh, oh that was really good. Says, okay, Christy, that's why you put the mic on Chris for that one moment. <laughs> I think he says gosh. Yeah. Oh, oh gosh. gosh, oh gosh. Well, if it was Goofy, he would oh, gosh. be. Oh gosh. Gosh. <laughs> Gorsh, Mickey. Oh, they have little ears on yeah, that that's ice cream. Cute. That's something. It's not the Mickey ice cream. It's not the something. Hello, can I get the chocolate chip cookie sundae? Does that look like Mickey kind of? Yes. That's what I want. I really hope that 360 mode's on. <laughs> chocolate chip cookie sundae. It kind of looks like Mickey. Kind of. It's ice cream, chocolate, and cookies. What could be better? Yum. I know I love that you didn't even bother to wipe off the glasses. That's ice cream. It's vanilla, so you know. Boring. It's a little boring, but you know, sometimes boring is fun. There's a lot of men out there hoping somebody thinks boring is fun. Wait, what did you just say? <laughs> There's a lot of men out there hoping that a woman will think boring is fun because that's all they are. They're boring. That's that was good. True. It's true. True. I mean, there's boring ladies out there too. You want to get that cherry? Yeah. The cookie's actually better than I thought it was gonna be. The cookie's kinda good. It's like a normal cookie, but... It's like a Chewy Chips Ahoy. But it's good. Ooh. Ice cream. We really want something even more Mickey-y, but this might be what we get. It's wet. Watch out Ooh, for the puddle. we climb around in the tree? <laughs> that sounds like <laughs> not a lot of fun. <laughs> Can we look at the castle for a second? No, like, I know, she's gorgeous. She look is at beautiful. That. Look at that. It's, and you see it's giving like, Burlington Church Street. You see so many people like <laughs> smiling and hugging like and taking ago. selfies. Yeah. <laughs> and it's somehow romantic. It's somehow friendly. It's somehow family. It's somehow nostalgia. And for children, it's like this beautiful discovery of whimsy. <laughs> that was really beautiful. Right? Now it's time for the best and the least best. It was a really fun day. You know, it's all super wet. I just hit that person. So sorry. But it was it was fun. There was lots of really good stuff. The last restaurant we hit, Cafe New Orleans, across the board, delicious. On the least best side, I think that the Thanksgiving sandwich was like kind of meh. You know, the beignets, I kind of wanted a little more. The chocolate sauce was garbage. Absolute garbage, trash. The holiday funnel cake I also didn't like. I loved how it looked. I loved what it represented. Both of the milks, I think you can pass. The cocktails are fun. I don't think they were special. The hurricane was better than both of the Star Wars ones. But the numb, come on. The numbing was fun. They were fun. 
I guess that one you should try, because that's an experience you can't get other places, maybe. But on the best side, the corn dog and, the, strangely, that mac and cheese hot dog are pretty good. The funnel cake fries we had were pretty good. I kind of like the breakfast hot dog in Star Wars land. One of the best of the day, hands down, is the cheesy pretzel bread. That was unbelievably good. Pretty much everything from Cafe New Orleans was good. That hummus was beautiful and tasty. The brie fried Monte Cristo sandwich, Monte Cristo sandwich was so good. All those things were good. The desserts there were a little less good, but the one that was the Jack Skellington tree, unbelievably gorgeous. Clam chowder, great, not enough of it. I wanted to gobble that up. Now, I don't know if you should have everybody having lots of clam chowder at the theme park, so maybe they're onto something as well. Oh, the turkey leg was the best I've had at any theme park ever. Probably the best turkey leg of my life. It was actually delicious. The chimichanga was pretty good. The corn was good. But we had like the pop chart in the morning was good. I mean, most of the stuff really was good and wasn't as expensive as Disneyland food, I think, could be. So that was great. And like, it's awful out here and everybody's having a pretty okay time. So there's magic in the air. It's Disneyland. It's beautiful. Look at this sad, sweet music as everyone's leaving. It's romantic. It's wistful. I had a great time. I hope this video does really well so we can come back and do California Adventure. Or even Disney World. <gasps> well, this has been Eat the Menu. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Get yourself some hot sauce. Until next time. I didn't really know how it was gonna work, but I'm satisfied with how that went. Well, four park two, water park. I don't go to water parks anymore. Come on, eat the menu water park? Ew. Loser. Blah. You're Just me walking around all wet? The lazy river while we're giving yes. you food. That would be sick.